Hello, so welcome back to another video. Now, sorry about having to use my flip camera to record this. I tried to use uh, Camtasia to record the lock screen, but for some reason it doesn't actually record it. So as you can see in front of you, this is the lock screen for Windows 8. As you can see, you get this nice big picture in the background, and you also get the time, the date, and all of that good stuff. And in the bottom corner here, you get a Wi-Fi signal and you also get the uh, battery indicator now i'm actually on a laptop so when in the settings you can actually customize all this and change it to a different lock screen and all of that good stuff now to actually unlock this if you're on a tablet you would just swipe it up it's the same principle with this just click and if you swipe up you can see that goes up so then you're presented with the login screen so when you initially set this up you have to put in a name, a password, uh, you put in your live ID account, so mine's Matt Saunders, mcp at live.co.uk, and then all you have to do is log in, so I'll do that now. And then as you can see, once you've logged in, it brings you straight to the Metro UI, and if you want to get to the desktop, all you have to do is literally click on desktop here, and that takes you there. So to actually change the settings uh, for the, the lock screen, all you have to do is come into the Metro UI here and then just click on the control panel tile, which then brings it up. And then all you have to do, which is just off the screen at the moment, there's a, but there's a, a little section that says personalize. And then you can see over here, we have the, all the different pictures. So if I, I can click on this one and it will then change it to that particular picture. And what we also have up here, which you probably can't see because of the recording, there's a, a section called user tile. So if I click on that, you can just change your picture basically to something of yourself if you want to. But if you come a little bit further down, you can actually see here, you've got lock screen notifications. So it says here, choose an app to display detailed status. Now I'll click on that and there's nothing in there. So I don't think that's activated at the moment. And it's also the same for the these uh, status badges. So you click on that and you can't actually add anything in. Uh, but that's how you actually change it. So once you've actually selected the picture you want, all you have to do, you have to click save or anything. It, it just seems to do it itself. Hit the Windows key and you will go straight back into the Metro UI. And then I can't actually show you the lock screen, but it will change uh, once you've changed the picture. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.